Hi everyone, I'm Mr. India today. You can't see me, but you can hear me. Let us start this test of cornea part 2 and sclera. So I'm ready, I'm clicking. 3, 2, 1, go. Let us see the 10 questions. The first question I think was an image question. The image is showing blood in the entry chamber. You should know this. That is hyphema. So the question is which sign is mainly affecting which layer? So which is the layer of cornea which is towards the anterior chamber? Because this is blood in the anterior chamber. The question is very simple. That is the endothelium. Yesterday in quiz also I told you whenever the patient has uh, blood in the anterior chamber, you should give a head up position so that the blood goes down. Topical steroids for little inflammation under anti-glaucoma cover. Topical cycloplegic to decrease pain. And this is seen in blunt trauma. That is and major and minor uh, iris vessels. Uh, particularly major vessels which are in the periphery of the iris are mostly broken down that is causing hyphema so endothelium is the answer over here second also is the image question now what is it doing this is uh, this is uh, some rings in the anterior uh, in the cornea that rings in the cornea is uh, intracorneal ring segments and this procedure is done for keratoconus Collagen cross-linking is not done here. That is the answer over here. Indication is keratoconus, cornea is reshaped. Yes, and it, you can take out the rings also. It is made for PMMA. And you can take out the ring also because that is in the stroma. Yes, it is a reversible procedure. So slightly difficult, but at least uh, you should know because it was a repeat question in PY, previous year question to identify this uh, intracorneal ring segments that in keratoconus. So this is not collagen cross-linking. You should know from PY, PYQ. Now in keratoconus, uh, the cornea is thin, so pachymetry has to be done. Cornea curvature is increasing, so keratometry to be done. Cornea surface is changing, so topography is done. This is a straightforward question. You should not have got it wrong because keratoconus is a very important topic. The speculum microscopy is for the endothelium of the cornea. That is no role in keratoconus. Now one X truck was given and sequential picture was taken and the redness has gone away. So only, only the thing which is uh, decreasing the uh, blanching of the vessels that can be phenylephrine and that can blanch the superficial vessels in episcleritis. Now this is also a previous question that's why this should not have been wrong uh, for you people. Answer is episcleritis. Now there was a uh, audio uh, a 22 year old boy. 22 year old. Now he's, uh, he was, I think, playing today. No, no, no. He went to party with contact lens on. Yeah, yeah. Contact lens. Now, aaj, first day he went to movie, second day cricket, third day party. And party ke baad he didn't uh, wear, he didn't remove the contact lens, he went to play cricket, something like that. But the cornea had didn't, no signs. And contact lens he washed with tap water. So, answer has to be symptoms are more, signs are less. That is acanthamoeba keratitis. Corneal scraping is the first thing to be done to know whether it is a acanthamoeba keratitis. That is the answer of this question. Acanthamoeba keratitis. Signs are less, symptoms are more. Vice versa in fungal keratitis, where symptoms are less and signs are more. Okay, now, now this is the image of the anterior part of the eye showing a thinning of the sclera lined by uvea, and there is a bulging also. So, thinning of outer fibrous coat lined by uvea plus bulging that is staphyloma and this is involving the ciliary body area that is a ciliary staphyloma it is mostly seen in scleritis that is the most common cause rheumatoid arthritis collagen muscle disorders so d option is correct see i bulging there is a bulging of the eye so iop has to be high in this and sclerometry preference is anterior necrotizing without inflammation that is one of the type of scleritis which complicates when the IOP increases, when it bulging, this is ciliary staphyloma. Now, it is ciliary staphyloma. How, why do you want to do keratoplasty here? Keratoplasty means taking out the cornea. So, that is false. Keratoplasty is not done here. It is a very poor prognosis, this ciliary staphyloma. Yeah. Yeah, you people are right. It hangs. So, telegram ka jo owner hai, Pablo, usko bolna padega. I have done six questions and it is hanging and 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 it's going forward or not see it is not going forward come on come on 
I have to stop the test, I think. All right, so seventh question is, uh, five year after trabeculectomy surgery, patient was seen on follow-up, the IOP was uh, good, 12 and bleb is a, I told you yesterday, is a subconjunctival elevation and it's a good thing to happen. But was the overhanging bleb on higher magnification, a yellow line, a faint yellow line was seen at the edge of the bleb. Now you should know that yellow line, uh, this is a line which is due to tear film stasis in conditions like keratoconus, that is flesh's ring, in bleb area that is ferry's line and in uh, poor ocular surface dry eyes hudson line theoretical lines you would not be able to see but theoretical and uh, one more interregium stalker's line and that is iron deposition in the epithelium of the cornea coming from tear film stasis all right the eighth question is true for herpetic keratitis now now why I told you 10 out of 10 because many of you must have done this incorrect. It's a very simple thing because you should know this. Corneal sensation are reduced. Yes, because uh, uh, the virus goes and stays in uh, trigeminal ganglion and that is supplying the sensation of the cornea. So A is correct. Epithelium involvement, everyone should know it's a dendritic ulcer. Now recurrence is reduced by acyclovir. Yes, but oral acyclovir. 400 milligrams, two times a day for a very long time. That was told by HEDA study. Remember this full form, herpetic eye disease study, full form, head study told this. And fourth is also correct, interstitial keratitis is type 3 hypersensory reaction to the viral antigen. And there is a salmon patch in interstitial keratitis. But the, there are different, many differentials of interstitial keratitis like TB, sarcoid, uh, leprosy, viral keratitis, Kogan's keratitis. But the most common cause is congenital syphilis in which you should know there is a Hutchinson's triad, Gandhiji's three monkeys. Buramat Deko, keratitis, Buramat Suno, deafness, Buramat Bolo, that is interstitial, uh, Hutchinson's teeth. Here the answer is C. Now, this is also a slightly tricky question, but I have given one option which is absolutely, you should have uh, ruled out the three, three options, you should know this. This is arcus senilis, lipid is deposited in the periphery, starts at 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock and then spreads circumferentially, B is also correct. No treatment required, D is also correct. So if A, B, D, you should know this is correct, C has to be the wrong answer. If it is a unilateral condition, you have to suspect why the uh, lipid is not reaching. So the other side means in which lipid is not there maybe there is a character stenosis that's why lipid is not reaching the other side so other side carotid steno, uh, carotid doppler has to be done that is the c is the incorrect statement here and this is also a straight a, a straight away question um, all the layers of cornea are formed by neural crest except surface ectoderm because that is formed by epithelium so, uh, epithelium is uh, formed by surface ectoderm that is the answer over here. I hope, I know many people have done uh, 10 out of 10 correct and uh, many, many congratulations to them. My standing clap for those patients or th those people who have done 10 out of 10. Best wishes.